Michelle Knight, this is the astrological update for Aquarius for the week starting the 17th of February. Now, don't let anything stop you this week. The Cardinal Grand Cross may be bringing up a few doubts. You know, it's not like you to doubt. You like to go forward into the future and embrace. And that's what you're meant to do in a way. But Pluto may be bringing up old fears, old worries, or even old feelings or obsessions from the past. Hang on. Well, in fact, don't hang on tight. Surrender. Let these feelings flow through you and they shall pass. Don't say anything rash either because Uranus in the middle of that mix may make you go rah, 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 rah. And uh, you don't want to do that because it's, a, it's, a, it's an intensity and it's a personal healing journey within you. It's not necessarily about anything external. And even if it is about something external, I would urge you to wait either until Mercury goes direct or at least until the Grand Water Trine at the end of the week which clarifies things, heals things, and makes you able to deal with things from compassion, love, and a sense of security within yourself. The three planet stellium is making you want to dig in and be more secure and more grounded this week, which you can do. A moon Mars conjunction is saying, yeah, baby, it's time to spread your wings, time to have an adventure, time to open up to the miracles and magic of the universe. We also have a sun, Neptune, and Chiron conjunction, which is allowing you to make the changes that you need to make to feel more secure that's emotionally financially and hopefully in all ways the moon trining uranus on the 22nd is making you understand that your thoughts create reality and what you put out there what you think what you believe is going to become manifest it's also an opportunity for you to tweak your thoughts and your beliefs to create what you want and what you deserve take care send you much love and i'll speak to you soon